beautiful humans good morning يا أجمل ما خلق ربي الله يسعد صباحكم this is a very short well I'm trying to keep it under five minutes message of absolute thanks and gratitude يعني مش عارفة شو بدي أقولكم to every single person that has called texted um, sent video notes, voice notes, emailed. Whether I know you or don't, friends that I have not heard from or talked to in years, years, called to check on me yesterday. Um, the gratitude that I have to each and every single one of you is enormous. <laughs> to have you in my life is incredible. But I am here also on an agenda. يعني توضح لي وتبين لي قديش احنا كبني ادمين كسوسايتي. I'm talking my society. How terrified we are of our own feelings. The amount of concern, the loving, loving concern that I actually seen and heard in people's voices and in their messages, they're, they're genuinely, genuinely concerned as to why I'm sad, why I'm crying. <laughs> and, 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 and why is it out there? They're, most don't understand really really most don't understand so have we ha have we come so far as to forget that uh, we are talking walking ball of emotion you understand that we are emotional beings. We function in emotion. Our life depends on it. We're humans, right? So to deny ourselves the, the very basic, <laughs> the very basic thing that makes us human, which is emotional expression out of fear of sensing emotion or out of fear of what others might think or what others might say. What they will say about me, I'm mad. I know for a fact that there are people out there that believe that I'm mad. I was called that to my face. Habla. Ghabiya. Majnuna. I really was called those names many, 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 many times. simply because I decided to live my life as a person and not accept things as is and decided to choose to feel my feelings and not oppress them and call them normal and eat at myself until I get Alzheimer's or die of heart disease I'll keep taking medication and medicating myself to forget where I am for the rest of my life. Or say a bottle of wine a day keeps the doctor away. So, hmm? The emotional burden that we carry, whether we're women, whether we're men, in this society, in this society of Everything outside needs to look perfect and neat because what the other is going to say, I need to look better, bigger, smarter, richer, prettier, younger. Otherwise, I'm what? Nothing.
every single time, every single time, every single time, I choose me. I choose to tone, I choose to cry, I choose not to bottle my emotions up to make others around me comfortable. Now this is how you weed them out, the, the, the real ones from the fake ones, those who genuinely want to be around you and those who are actually just there to have a good time or to expel their anger on you or, you know, sweet talk you until their horn is gone. You know those people. They don't want to talk. They want to hide. They want to run. So when you talk real, they start to weed themselves out and you start to feel, oh, I'm alone. Nobody loves me. Nobody likes me. No, honey, you repelled them. You repelled them. That beautiful energy of you that you are putting back into yourself of self-love. The minute you decide not to expel that energy outwards, trying to attract someone to love you and you actually start loving you. And by loving you, not just oh, I love myself every single morning in the mirror. Oh, you are so amazing as a human being because you are and because I am. And I do tell myself that every single day. Look at me. I'm over six minutes and I promise that this is going to be a short one. Mm. But there. That. No. No. If me being real, if you being real, talking about how you feel genuinely, stopping people in their, in their place where they belong and telling them no, your burden belongs to you and my burden belongs to me. I carry my burden. You carry your burden. You heal your wounds. I heal my wounds and we come together as a unit, whether you're friends, whether you're spouses, whether you're colleagues, whether you're partners, whatever. Don't bring your crap into my doorstep. And I will not bring my crap into yours. We can't exist as humans having a human existence that is healthy, that is genuine, that is exactly what we hope for because it does exist. These relationships, by the way, do exist and I have them in my life. I tell you, with human beings that, mind you, I've never met, they live a lifetime and, and a lifetime away. Across continents. In Africa, in Europe, in Asia, in Russia. Everywhere in the world. Genuine relationships. Genuine friendships with genuine human beings that actually give two cents about you. All you have to do is know that you deserve this. And everything and everyone was going to start weeding themselves out of your life. You're, you're going to start repelling like insects. And the same way that energy repels, the same energy attracts. It's a signal. Crap, crap, go away. Good, good, here to stay. And it's a mantra that I repeat to myself every day. In a year, in one year, less. I made a decision in July that that's it, it stopped with me. The emotional burden and the mental burden of being a woman, of being female, of being groomed, brought up, made into a certain picture with my, of absolutely, with my consent when I did not know better, you see? Because it is also a responsibility that when you know better, you do better. If you know better and you don't do anything about it, what does that make you? I used to call myself the living dead. Trademark, of course.
never be scared of your emotions. So, oh my God, especially the men. Oh my God, oh my God. And I don't laugh because to, to diminish this, when I get nervous, I laugh. This is me being extremely nervous. Because at this moment, when you get to know, when when you get to know how to read people, when you get to see people for exactly who they are and what they are, they become terrifying, don't they? The amount of fear, uncertainty, and anger that the men in our society carry, that they are unable to express, say, or deal with because they are being shamed for it. Oh, you're not a man. Oh, men don't do this. Why are you talking like that, man? You sound like a girl. You have, you have any idea how many times I've heard that? No wonder the crap that they create out there. They don't know what they're doing. It's all of this bad juju. I'm not absolving anybody from anything, by the way. I'm just, this is the energy. This is what I'm talking about. They don't know what kind of crap that they're doing. They're just propelling this energy because there's no outlet for it. They don't express it. They don't talk about it. If you're not a pro athlete going out there, you know, getting it on the court or somewhere and, and during the day and at night in women, you took it out on your wife, on your daughters, on your sons, on your colleagues, on the road with road rage, or in the bottle, in abuse to yourself and to others. This is the result of you not talking about your feelings. This is not, this is not something, you know, m made up. Energy does not disperse. Energy transfers. It doesn't disappear. It just moves into something different. So I no longer bottle it up. I take it out. I create pictures, paintings. <laughs> I change kitchen tiles. I alchemize it in the kitchen. I meditate. I ground. I tone, I breathe. And I am A okay. Those emotions, those memories, this is what they are. They're just that. They've already happened. They can't hurt you again. You keep living them over and over and over again if you don't get them out. And this is how you live healthy. This is how you don't get your crap on someone else. This is how you take care of yourself. This is how you self-love. It's not just hugs and kisses and makeup and clothes and hikes and runs and getting the toxic people out of your life. Do you think it's obvious? Taking control of your life is messy. It's like spring cleaning. <laughs> 